Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. Very special review today because I think I'm one of the first to get these. Bum, bum, bum. The Zero Ninest uh, Legion Mecha Cavalry. There are three of them, and interestingly, they are in separate boxes, but you tend to buy them as a box set of uh, three or seven, three. Nice and individual because you can. Uh, multi-buy the ones you want if that's the way you want to roll. So we have the company commander, the captain, and the sergeant. New style box with these little windows. I've not looked inside yet. Ooh, scenic base. Looks very nice. And the base does look different on all three. Give you a quick look. In fact, you could have these and just collect them like this and actually take them out and play. And these go with the Zero Ninth Legion Fear Assault Mech or Mecha, which is huge. And he will be in suggested videos. Now, someone asked me, uh, because when I did the review, I didn't put any figures in, so I was waiting for this, if these guys, these joy to it, does it sad look white flame legion, I think, if they would fit inside, I'll stick these guys in suggested videos somewhere up here for you. Um, I don't think he will fit, but I will try. I'm pretty sure she will fit. Let me see if I can get this open. Okay, so let's take our swords out first. And yes, they fit in like this. First time I'm doing this, we've never really done this in the month. Does this move? Now I've got to try and get it to go in. Okay, she is in, and then can I make her hold the handles? Yes, I can. Good job, Joy. Uh. Uh. And I'll show you this in a second. So she is in, and then that can just and clip into place and she's inside okay so she can fit but the guys with the bulky armor there's no way they will fit purely because as far as i can tell this handlebar here is fixed in place and they got this bulky stuff on the back which means they would not fit behind it okay let's just put that to the side but keep it open for the time being okay so company commander so it's just one piece of tape and i left my blue knife on the other side give me one second to get my blue knife oh hello okay here's the blue knife let's just cut this tape i could peel the tape but i don't want to rip the box just to take that risk Okay, let's have a look. So let's start Sergeant Major. And it's just a pull-out plastic tray. And the it oh, whew, that's definitely a high of that. Like with the other multi-packs we've seen, it shows you everything that comes in the pack and the Right down on the thing, which is really useful if you do customs and take things apart or you need to do repairs. Put that back in and put this back in here. Let's get our captain. Now, of course, because there are three of these, do I now have to buy two more theater assault mechas to have one each? It's tempting, but space and more importantly, money is saying no but we see what the future holds because at the moment there's been another partial lockdown here in uh, china 
and it means that my salary has now been cut to 70% since I'm not going to work and I'm doing some work from home, but my work is very in the very in the workplace based. So I need to watch my spending, but I bought these when it was no lockdown. Okay, let's see. Okay, I will do this in the same order. So we have the Sergeant Major. Now, the first thing I'm going to say that I noticed is I don't know how they're going to fit inside that mech with these legs being so bulky. Maybe I missed something. He does look particularly good. So he's got um, nice sand and sort of... I say leather, sand and green, sort of dark khaki colour, armour plating, he's got really nice little details, there's a little holster on his side, I'm assuming for his pistol or belt, his helmet is not in a replacement head, it's an actual fit over the head helmet, and that is really nicely done, look at that, those colours. And that fits over very well i do like that come on head don't get stuck there we go very very nice looking helmet he has this scenic base which is resin probably not really it's not particularly weathered on the actual base but it's effective enough he has his gun, but it's one of the guns that I'm not so keen on because it's joined to that little bar there. And they all, are, is it all of them? No, not all of them. He comes with a core, with a crate. So let's see how he stands on his scenic base first. Well, there are pegs to go in his, uh, the holes in his shoes. Very nice, if you want to display them that way. Okay, uh, inside his crate, he has got a belt, he has got a, another, looks almost like a sci-fi Uzi, another gun here. He's got one, two, three, four spare hands. Two appear to be more open for holding like weapons. He's got four spare wrist joints and one spare. It looks like shoulder joint, but it's the wrong color because it's black and they should be a uh, the green color. So he looks like he comes with a spare joints for these uh for these figures, but no pistol as such. So does this little whatever it is fit in here? I'm assuming is that gonna fit in there? Hmm. Let me find these paperwork again. Have they got them set up with something in the side there? I thought that would have been for a pistol, but obviously I appear to be wrong. Well, he doesn't come with a pistol. And... The armor pieces on his shoulders come off, and as and so do the ones on his thighs, and his vest come off, his neck piece and his things come off because they're showing that separate on here. They're not showing the spare shoulder joints, that's a bit extra, it would appear. Hmm. So that sort of fits on there, but not how it should. So I'm not actually sure what that one's for. Wouldn't be for a pistol. Maybe someone else has a pistol. Okay, let's see how he holds his weapons. Let's do the one I'm not so keen on first. And I'll say this straight away, his armour really, really gonna gets in the way of his articulation. That bicep bend is so tiny. And he's not wanting to hold on. 
to the gold because of this stock. Let's try the other one. Or maybe I should change his hands over. So let me try changing his hands. In fact, before that, let me just show his articulation first. So, left, right, up, down, side, side, shoulders. He will get just about flat, and then the armor, or even flat, stops. Uh, any more movement? Bicep bend. Depending on where you line it up, he will get. Just about 90 degrees. There is trunk, forwards, backwards, side to side, turn. Um, that's actually coming from the waist. There is, is there trunk underneath? There's trunk underneath. Hips quite far until the uh, armor gets in the way. There's a thigh twist. Forwards is not great. Backwards is okay. He has double kneecap, but bear in mind he's wearing his sort of armor. But look how tight that is. Fantastic. His feet. There's no turn in the feet, but he does get a decent tippy toe. His dorsal flexation is all right. And he does have the toe articulation that Joy Toy put in her figures. Uh, but it's quite stiff i'd have to put on hot water to make those move because they're a bit too stiff at the moment but he does have toe articulation and his feet do swivel like this side to side okay uh bu -bu 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 -bu. it's a shame he doesn't have a pistol all right let me see if this hand will hold the gun first before i get too carried away Always scary doing that, like, don't break! So you can hold this gun. Um, he holds it all right, to be fair. Not amazing. There are other guns that he would hold better, but he holds that pretty well. And stock it into his shoulders, that's pretty good. I like that. Uh, just that it's easier with this hand than the other hand because this one's got a tighter grip, doesn't let go of the, the uh, handle so easily. And then this one, I think it's going to be even more awkward to hold. Let's have a look. Really nice gun, but I'd be tempted to cut that diagonal bar going this way off just as easy for the figures to hold. And then this little one he holds all right but i would prefer a pistol but it is what it is and it looks pretty cool nonetheless okay let's put his original hand back in uh with the wrist articulation if you've not seen the previous videos i've done recently on joy toy or you haven't got any new joy toy they have a joint that goes into the wrist and into the hand so you can turn the hand separately to the joints you can change the angle of bend from gun to wave he is cool let's see if he will fit inside the mech as he is i'm thinking it's going to be a bit of a struggle 
but I may well be wrong. So have a look. Oh, he might do it. I just wish this had more movements. It feels like ooh, it doesn't want to go. Especially since this guy's quite bulky in his legs as well. But that being tight, what it does do is make sure your guy is nice and there we go, nice and secure when he is inside. And he just about fits. It looks like just bend his arms up. Would it close? No, it won't. It won't close because of that holster thingy on his thighs. You might want to. Mm -hmm. That was getting stuck. Now he's too far up. Oh, so close. I would say that out of these figures, the woman's with the best fit since she's slightly slimmer. It's very difficult to get him inside of there. The other way you may want to consider is some people put their figures in, I've seen, back to front, like that way. And then closes up, uh, and that still is not going to fit. That is a shame, but I'm not going to spend more time doing that with him. I will spend more time on the captain and looking at her and how or rather if she can fit in there instead. I will take him out in a moment when I do like a proper group shot. Okay, captain, she is more slender. She does come with a pistol, I'm assuming, since she has a proper holster on her side. I think she will fit. Um, How's her helmet going to fit with this hair on the back? She does look really good, actually. Very nice looking female action figure. Uh, gun's pretty cool. Again, there's a little butt at the bottom that I'd want to cut. Scenic base, I prefer that to the other one with the sort of the tree on there. Her helmet, is that going to fit over her head with that hair? No, it's not. So I'm guessing that, yeah, she comes with a spare head, a blank head here, which will help with the um, helmet. So let's have a look. So she has got the... Like the scarf, the shawl goes over. She's got a blank head, which is the same size, but not painted apart from the uh, lips and no hair. She comes with a sidearm. She comes with a different wrist. She has the different articulation. She has the proper gun articulation and wave articulation. So different wrist setup. And she comes with shoulder armor as well. Okay, so let's change her head around and see what she looks like with the uh, the helmet on. It's almost like Ant-Man, because there's red eyes. She looks pretty cool. Does work well, and it's not a tight fit. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Her vest does come off, as does the belt, as does the thigh armour as does the lower shin armor. Okay, so her articulation is gonna be different, we've seen that already. So she has left and a right, up and a down, small side to side. Shoulders, without having the armor on, go slightly higher than the guy, just about flat, he was slightly under. Um, bicep bend, look at that. Much better than the guy, she gets over 90. Uh, trunk is now hidden, but you can see if she can go side to side, forwards, backwards, and turn. There's thigh twist, legs go quite far. Forwards, the vest gets in the way. Backwards, the sculpt and the butt gets in the way. 
quite a nice sculpt on the hips and the butt. Uh, double kneecap, nice and tight. Feet, her feet can turn, his couldn't. She gets a decent tippy toe as well. Her dorsal flexation, her Michael Jackson's not going to be so good because this shin armour is very small. And her feet do twist. And she also has the toe articulation. Her pistol, we've seen before, other joint releases, fits in her holster quite nicely and is not going to come out. Now, if she is like this, and let me put her, change the head around again. And if she has her head on, can she fit inside our mech? Let's move this stuff to the side. Let me rephrase, can she fit inside the mech quickly, not taking a long time? Because he would probably fit if I took a bit longer. I'm going to swivel her thigh armour to the side so it doesn't stick out. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that holster's going to get in the way. Now, her issue now is the belt and the vest because her head is sticking out and she's going to fit in in terms of the sideways. If I move the uh, gun around, the holster around, you might ooh, have to take the armor off. Let me bend that a bit more in order for her to fit. She is very, very close at the moment to fitting in there. Just the head and the helmet is stopping. Born dying headbutt. Uh, 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 uh. Very close. If I take the helmet off, she's still going to headbutt. Uh, she will fit, but you're going to have to take the vest off at least. Because the vest is, is what's stopping her from going further down at the moment and fitting in. I like the cockpit system. I think now we've got the figures here. It needs to be maybe a touch bigger because this one here without this bulky vest armour, she fitted in straight away. And her here, I feel like if I was to take off the... Uh, The vest, I think she'll fit. Do I want to do that now? Looking at the uh, company commander, he definitely won't fit. He's more bulky than both the others. I'm not going to take the vest off, but she will fit. Just you're going to need to take the vest off. If you can make a fit with the vest, sorry, you can make a fit with the vest. If you've got more time that you want to invest into doing that, but for the purposes of review, we're 24 minutes in. I am not going to do that. We'll come back to. Sorry, before we come back to her, let's see how she holds this gun here. I'm not going to change her hands around. She actually holds this gun really, really well. It's like almost like a cowboy pose. Shoot from the hip. One-handed. Really, really nice. That's a great gun. She does that really well. And then two-handed, can she do? There's no real handle to hold with the other hand. But, you know, she can do it another way. Another way, I'm sure. Ugh. But she can hold that really well. Pretty cool. Put these bits and bobs back in for now. 
and we come to our company commander. I won't try him in the fear mech because uh, I know he won't fit unless I spend more time in a taking stuff off and jigging them around and we're like 25 minutes in. Okay, let's have a look at him. So he comes with side arms, spare joints, four spare hands, a belt and a gun again I'm not so keen on that gun and his helmet looks particularly good as well I like that one and in fact his base is probably the best i like that sort of sand base with that stone um i will take his side arm out Different holster system for his one. How is that gonna fit in there like that? I guess. But having said that's a different holster system, I can't say that's gonna fit in easily. Okay, like that, very secure in there. He does look really good. He's got a nice sort of first aid pack on his uh, back there. In fact, they all look really, really nice. Very armed on the thighs, you can see. And on the knees, nothing on the shins. Good body armor there, good. Uh, yeah, very armored, looks pretty cool. Uh, how does his helmet fit over his head? Very nicely. Looks the part. Articulation, left, right, up. Up, down. That's not easy to do with the, with the uh, scarf. Up, down, left, right. Shoulders, he's going to get just about flat because of the armor, or just under flat. Uh, bicep curl. He's getting around about 90 less on the left hand because of the armor he's wearing if you shift that around on the right sorry if you shift that around he'll get a better angle uh wrist is again that joint where you can change the articulation by moving the uh, joint around trunk dip side side turn turn thigh twist yep legs only a little bit because of the uh all the armor and extra bits backwards and forwards not great Double kneecap, really good. And then foot articulation, like he is the other guy, there's no turn on the foot. What am I wrong? Let's have a look. Yeah, no, no turn on the foot that I can see. There's a small bit of movement, uh, but he has a good tippy toe. Probably the best out of the bunch. His dorsal flexation is all right. His feet swivel like this. And he also has the toe articulation. And how does he hold this gun here? I think he might struggle a little bit. Let's see if I'm right or wrong. And I've just broken my gun trying to stick it into his fingers. I snapped the barrel off. Never mind, I've got loads of these. And I can fix that back. He might be better with another hand as well. That grip's slightly tighter. Let me see. Okay, this one here. Stretch the fingers out a little bit first.
the joint came out and I don't want to take it out with my teeth because it might break so I'm not going to do that but you can see that the hand does hold the gun quite well and let me just keep my little barrel part safe okay let's get a family a family shot get it all helmeted up looking pretty badass Last one. Let's get them all back here. Then I'll put them closer before I finish off. Put them back here so I can also fit in the fear assault mech. How far forwards can I go? About there. let's not put them too far forwards otherwise you're going to get a force perspective very nice very much i like them a lot i just wish that the uh handlebars in the pop and the pocket kit <laughs> in the cockpit uh could move so it's easy to fit these guys in because they are really supposed to go this they look the part though very very nice and let's do one final in fact doing a couple more things actually this is a long review anyway. Show with this uh, little 160 scale mech that works really well with 118. He looks pretty cool. He'll be suggest the videos for you as well. And it's a bit closer to the camera so you can appreciate them as I sign out. Okay, this is awesome action toys. I'm signing out saying please like, share and subscribe. And I'll be back soon with more awesome action toy videos. For you stay happy click uh, keep collecting and check out the content because there's loads of stuff on the channel joy toy uh, acid rain world fortnite etc 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 okay bye bye